In this video, I build a radio frequency transmitter for my wireless coconut harvester. This is a part one for my CocoBot harvester. This transmitter can also use in drone, RC boat and car but specifically designed for my CocoBot harvester. Congratulations to PCB Way for their 7th anniversary. Thank you for making and serving a high quality PCB worldwide. You can visit the PCB Way website at www.pcbway.com. Thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring the high quality PCB. In just $5 you can order your 10 to 5 pieces of PCB with 2 layers. You also have a PCB Way pen freebies. I received my transmitter and receiver board in just one week. I'm using a 10k ohms resistor for a pull-up operation accompanied by a push button to control some load like motors. I removed a excess coating to the terminal of the resistor in order to properly solder to the board, or unless I come into some trouble what I don't want to happen, like the button become unresponsive. I'm using a SPDT micro toggle switch to on and off my transmitter in order to control and save the power of my battery for this. I cut the screw port to make it more smaller. I'm using a 470 microfarad 16 volts to store energy and avoid the microcontroller to brown out due to have a multiple input controls in my transmitter. I'm using a female header for my Arduino Nano and NRF24L01 module to become removal, therefore I can easily remove those important module when some problems occurs to protect those module. I connect a 16 volts 100 microfarad to the 3.3 volts and ground of the NRF module to give more power to the module and avoid loss connection to the receiver board. It deliver more sufficient power to the module unlike if you're only using the 3.3 volts of Arduino Nano alone. In order to control the angle position of the two servo motor, I use the 10k ohms potentiometer, I bend the 3 terminal of the 2 potentiometer in order to reach the solder mask of the board. I insert the potentiometer to the hole and lock it tightly and solder the terminal of it. To control the up and down movement of my CocoBot harvester, I decided to use a four pieces of joystick. Joystick have a two internal potentiometer that responsible for X and Y axis.
Using the cheap Arduino Nano microcontroller, we can program this transmitter. I'm decided to use cheap NRF24L01 module transceiver module that have a 1.2k meter range between the transmitter and receiver board. For my CocoBot Harvester project this transceiver module are quietly enough. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, a popular Chinese PCB manufacturing company that provide SMD stencil, PCB assembly, flexible PCB, advanced PCB and so on. In just $5, you have 5 to 10 pieces of 2 layers with high quality PCB copies. To test the transmitter board, I able to make a temporary receiver board. I used the Arduino Mega and NRF24 LO1 module. I connect it to my computer to upload the code. Using Arduino IDE software you can copy and paste this code this transmitter can also use in RC car RC boat and for drone. You should change the code for it to be work. Select the port and board, in my case my board is Arduino Mega. I connect the transmitter to the computer to upload the code for transmitter board. Like to the receiver board we should also use our Arduino IDE software to upload the sketch or code. I select the board and port I used Arduino Nano therefore I should select Arduino Nano for the board. After the code was uploaded to the TX and RX board, you can open the serial monitor in Arduino IDE software to monitor the value of the different variable like up and down speed E servo B servo and so on. Using this you will ensure that the transmitter are working properly.
In my next video, I will show how to make the receiver board and connect all the necessary load for the coconut harvester. I also explain how wireless coconut harvester work.